Okay, so in this question we're given this bit here and we're asked to rearrange it to make it look like that. Now remember, we don't use the right-hand side at all in our answers here. That's there as a guide of what it wants us to do. This little triple equal sign means it's completely equivalent to, works for all values of x, um, so it basically means it's an identity. Okay, so we're looking at the left-hand side and we're thinking, right, okay, so how are we going to do this? So... First of all, I look at this bit and ignore the plus C at the end or plus 5 at the end. Now I'm thinking, right, okay, what can I do with that first? Well, the first thing I can do is I can just divide a 2 out so I can factorise it with a 2 on the outside. And that kind of gets us started. Okay, the next thing I can do is I can um, complete the square in the middle. So what have we got? We've got x squared plus 14x. So we're going to have an x plus 7, because 7 is half of 14, squared. Now I'm just going to leave that a second, because I'm going to come back to that. And I'm going to think, OK, so what, what will x plus 7 squared create? So I'm just going to expand that. And I know I'm halfway through my working out there, but I think it's important to realize what this creates. So we've got x squared plus 14x, which is great. That's what we've got in our first bracket. Um, but we've also got a plus 49, so we're going to have to deal with that. We're going to have to somehow get rid of that and minus it off. So we're going to just minus it off here, because we know that that creates a minus 49 that we don't want. Okay, so let's have a look. Well, that all looks absolutely fine, but... What I can do is now expand that, so I can times the 2 by the bracket there, and times the 2 by the minus 49 there. So I end up with 2 bracket x plus 7 squared, minus, and then 2 times 49, which is 98. Okay, so that all looks fine. Now I have a plus 5 at the end here for each of these steps, which I'm just going to put in now to make sure my work now is all hunky dory but this purple bit here represents the purple bit I highlighted in the question that plus 5 is just incidentally there we don't need to worry about it just yet but at this point here we've got the minus 98 and we've got the plus 5 so I can deal with that now so if I just rewrite the bracket bit and now what I want to do is I want to do minus 98 plus 5 which is minus 93 and I think that that gets us in the form that the question asks us for. The M is the number outside the bracket, which is 2. The P is the 7 inside the bracket. And the Q is minus 93 on the outside of the bracket.